Alrighty. I think we're good to go. So, um, here we are. That is... Oh, hey, look at that. Ooh, there's something in there. That's probably just ice that it uncovered. So, this is the little oasis that we're in right now. Um, this is our big-ass rover. And... Alright, what else do we got to do here? Um, well, we got to get this thing going. And that thing going. And I think we need to build some more batteries. But I'm thinking I should probably put some stuff over here in the corner first. Probably going to be a good idea. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, this needs to go this way. And that way. And then we can take this and go there. And then we can take some batteries. Just regular old batteries. Okay, so that can go there. And then that can go there. And then we're going to need 160 power cells. So, 100 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, good to go. Uh, what do I have for iron? Okay, yeah, we got enough iron. And then I suppose we can do the same thing over here, maybe. Um, okay, so that is the right way. And then... Hopefully that is also in there the right way. Okay, good. And then we'll go into here. That's going to be that. Um, I mean, if I'm going to put the build and repair system in here, I should probably put it in there, right? Right. So, rotate, rotate, rotate. There we go. So that can go in there like that. And then we can go into batteries again. Okay. And then we're going to need another 160 power cells. Okay. And then um, I do want to put in a passage. Uh, that's ores. This is okay. Yeah. Just because I think it'll look nicer. So we'll throw in another one of these. And we'll put in another one right here. And then, as far as things that we can put in here that take up a corner, uh, we have armory lockers. That would probably work. In there the correct way? No, that's upside down. There we go. Okay, so we'll throw that in there and then we'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Um, we're going to need more interior plates, so we'll make another couple hundred of those, I suppose. Uh, okay. So now we go into here, and then we go into here, and then that's just kind of here, and then we go down here, and it should all work out. Hopefully. Okay, anyways. Uh, are we out of plates already? Seriously? Okay. Um... So we'll do that. Uh, we do have some batteries built over here, so that's good. We can now last an entire day with just what we've got. And then from here to here, that should work, I think. Um, okay. Now I'm just trying to think of how I want this to sort of work. 
I mean, honestly, if we're going to seal this because we're on the planet and the planet has oxygen, all we have to do is just <clears throat> seal off the area and we don't really need to worry about anything and then just throw a vent on the outside and have it depressurize in. That's it. That's all we need. Um, so we'll probably do that. That way we don't have to worry about putting in like a depressurization chamber or whatever. We need construction components and steel tubes. Okay. All right, how are we doing for, we're gonna need a lot more plate than that. Anyways. <clears throat> so, I guess we can start putting in these things, right? How many do I have left? 12. <clears throat> I don't think my voice likes talking. I think that's a thing that it doesn't like. Drink of the day is a whiskey sour. If you've been watching my videos, <clears throat> you already know how I make them, so... No need to go into detail about that. Okay, I don't like that you can get stuck on the corner here. So maybe we'll take these out. And then we'll just put these kind of, you know, uh, in the living area, and then instead of doing that, we can throw in some of these instead to kind of just throw this whole thing off, I guess. Um, we still need small steel tubes. Probably going to need more than that. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're not getting stuck, which is good. And then I can work on getting this all fucking done. Okay. So there's that, um, and now we need to do uh, this, and then throw that up on top of there, if it will let me. Okay, and then eight. Okay, and then this can go that way. And we'll do the same thing over here. Okay. Okay, so this can go there and there and there. And then this can go there and there and there and then we can go here and here and there and there okay so there's that one done um, do I need these on here I'm gonna say no only because I don't want them kind of Fuck. Yeah. Um, basically because I don't want this interfering with the block here at all, so there needs to be that little bit of space there.
Okay. Okay. All right. So, making progress slowly. Why am I like do you, the hell? Why am I moving? Do you see that I'm moving? Why am I moving? Why am I moving? Hello? Why is this whole thing moving? Dude, like what are you what are you doing right now? Is it the wind that's blowing me? Is that what's going on? Cuz if so, that's new. Um okay. So, battery, 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 battery. Um, these batteries we're not really going to be able to see once we put the yield modules on there. But we have six days worth of power right now. So I think we're good on that for a little while at least. And now, why am I... I am so confused. Like, over here I'm moving towards the middle. Over here I'm moving that way. But up there I'm moving this way. And it's just... I, I have no idea what's going on. Uh, okay, so what else do we need to do here? Um, I mean, obviously we need to put a shell on this thing, but I'm not ready for that quite yet. This th why, why am I being blown off to the side? This makes no sense. I don't know what's going on. I'm very confused. <sighs> okay. So we've got storage, right? We've got power. We've nearly got um, a little hangar bay thing. Um, next thing we're going to need is, well, do I have any interior plates? I do, okay. So let's see if I can get this thing going. So I think it was two and then the the corner. And then it was like one or something on top of there. Yeah, I think it's got to be one on top of there. But I don't need a sorter. I need a frame. Okay. And that puts us even with the top here, which should work. And then we throw on a connector. For that, I need steel plate. Do we have any? Yes, we do. We have a lot. Um, okay. Okay, so connector. And then these things. Why? Why is this whole thing moving? I'm so confused. Okay, then merge block. And then projector. And then little blocks going around the side. Um, no, that's in the eight menu. So that can go there and there and there and here. need motors, more motors, motors and computers, okay. So motors, computers, 
Um, okay. What do we need? Okay, so that's using 633 iron. We still have 2,000, so we're still good. Then we can throw this around. Why is the entire thing moving? The wind should not be able to move this thing. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay. So that's going to put it below, which I'm not a fan of. So maybe I just, I don't know, like build around it. You know what I mean? I need steel plates. Okay. Okay. This might... Oh no, that still fits there. Somehow. Okay, so we're going to increase our displacement. Kind of move that off to the side a little bit. So we'll max that out. Oh, that's not great. That's not great either. That's basically like right at the edge. So, I don't know. Okay, so what I do need on here, however, is another junction box, if I can get it on there. And then we'll just cover this thing, or we'll go from here to here. We'll throw another junction box on here. That'll kind of do its thing. Um, and then I suppose we can... Nope, need the eight one, okay. So that'll go here. So that'll go there, I got that one. That was not where you were supposed to go. Okay, we need the eight. Go up one. Okay, and that's like totally pushing in on that box. So I'm thinking I have to redo these ones. Lag spike, that was awkward. Um, okay. And then from here, we're gonna go with, yeah, half blocks. And then this can go here, and then this can go here and here, okay. And then we can throw the rotor displacement all the way to the back, which gives us a little bit more leeway up here. And it looks weird back here, but I mean, it, it's about as good as it's gonna get, honestly. Um, and that's basically what these things are supposed to look like anyways, so I guess I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, we need more interior plates, okay. Probably gonna have to get more iron before too long. 
Actually, that might actually be too much as is. Okay. All right, iron. If you don't mind. Uh, we got to go around this way. Uh, do, 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 and right there, I think. Okay. All right, so now it says that the center is over here. So we can still go out quite a ways this way, I think. Yeah, there's still a lot of iron in here. Okay, so we'll throw out that. And we'll throw out another one. And we'll throw out another one. Actually, we're going to drop the stone off somewhere else, probably right here, so I can make sure that I get a full stack of iron. Okay, we'll just grab all of this, I think. Because we've got more than enough to uh, fit everything in here. Alt plus middle mouse button. See, but that got rid of this stuff too. Oh, that counts as ores. That's why. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay, so food. Take some of the water. Throw it in there. Organics can go up here. Gravel can go over there. More organics. Okay. can go into there. All right, build a repair system, okay. So that can go there, and then I'll pick up this one little block right there, 
And we'll leave that one for next time. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it in there that way now, which is kind of unfortunate. But I can still get it in here this way. So yeah, even though I'm using this piston here as a jack, you know, to lift up the entire vehicle, um, it still can serve another purpose, and that is quick access to the interior conveyor system, which is useful. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. And this should be the last of it. Good to go. All right. Okay, so what next? Um, we have all that built around. Okay. And then I have to do the same thing over here. So I guess we'll get that done. Gonna need interior plates. Probably should make some more. Um, okay, probably gonna need more than 10 also, whatever, uh, that'll work. So, all right, so we need spacers. Okay, spacer number one, spacer number two, followed by an angle going up, followed by another spacer on top, followed by a connector. That can go there, and then a shit ton of blocks. Okay, and then a merge block, which will work there, and then also a projector, which will go there. And then we'll throw in these pieces. Actually, this one's gonna have to go over here. And then that can go there. And did I? S oh yeah. Do 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 do. Okay. Could probably use a couple hundred more of those. For some reason, I've got an Avril Lavigne song stuck in my head, which is super random. I have no idea why. I don't know, man. Human mind is weird. Okay, and that can go there, followed by a couple of these things. And then this can go there. Okay. And then from here, I can get the rest of this stuff on. So that can go there. And 
And I'm out of steel plate. <sighs> no, I wanted to take a hundred, not ten. Okay. Okay, and then we will offset this to the minimum. Okay. I really wish this song would get out of my head. I mean, it's not that I hate Avril Lavigne or anything, it's just that I don't like songs getting stuck in my head. It's very annoying. Okay. Um, now, what do I want to do here? Uh, also, what do you need? Construction components. Should we just make like a thousand of them? There you go. Make all the components. That's kind of cool that you can kind of see through there. Hmm. And then you need construction components. You need construction components. You need construction components. Okay, so that should be everything else getting built. And that's all this fun stuff. Um, and then we're going to be using these tubes to sort of move stuff from back here to the front section. Um, as needed, of course. Uh, all right, so what more do I need that I could put in here? Um, I mean, I don't really need oxygen tanks at all. But... Hmm. Huh. How do I want to handle this? I mean, obviously I'm going to be putting in solid blocks here. Because I don't... I mean, there's nothing that I need on the outside of here other than, you know, just protection. So definitely armor blocks there. Um, this I can actually finish building up. Okay, so that's going to influence what I can do over here a little bit. Okay, so then we need this to go in here like this. And then that is correct. Okay, so then that can go in there. And then we've already done that over here. So, okay. What do we need that we don't already have? I mean, we've got this all set up already. This doesn't need to have all of that in here. Um, we can throw in one of these blocks to sort of line all that up. And then we can put, I don't know, like a plate or something in there. Or we could put, actually, is that? Oh, that's inside this block. OK. So I can't actually do anything here. That's unfortunate. I mean, I could put this on the outside, maybe. Would that look weird, though? It might look weird. Or if I just got rid of it completely. And just threw in like that to go down. I mean, that looks OK, right? I think that's okay. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, so then that can go there. And that gives us some continuity here, but then we can get rid of those or that block and do it differently. So we could just put like a normal block in there. Do we need a normal block in there though, or do we want to do something else? I think that'll be fine. 
Um, we are going to need some more plates, though. So 500 should get us started. Um, OK. And we can throw in a block there. And that'll kind of close off this whole thing. Um, it's not really much I can do in here. Like, I don't think it'll let me put in a half block. Yeah, no. Because that's kind of in the way. So, not really anything that I can do there. I mean, maybe I could. I mean, I guess, I suppose the worst thing that I could do is try. So, if I pulled this back all the way... Not. Did it not reverse? It did. Okay, maybe it's just stuck. Okay. So we're just going to leave that then and just call it good. Um, and if I need to, I can throw in some plates along the bottom here. I'm really not worried about it, though. So, and it kind of looks like, like a car's axle, sort of. Kind of, anyways, not really. I don't know. Um, okay, so what else do we need? I mean, we've got all this space up here that we can use for something. Um, I mean, we could throw in another H2O2 gen, maybe. Then, in which case, this is going to have to be a conveyor junction. And then that means that the other one's going to have to be a conveyor junction. And then that's going to have to wrap around and then go down, which we can handle. I mean, I could put an engine in here, but then I would need... How would I even do that? I mean, it would kind of make sense to put the engines like right on top of the batteries here, so maybe... But then again, the engine's going to have to face inwards because that's where the connector is, so... All right, so we got connector on the side, connector on the bottom, so you can kind of see it there. And then we also have a connector on, oh, we don't have a connector on that side. Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm definitely going to want the fan over there this way. So we'll throw that in here, and we'll throw that in there, and then we're going to turn this off, turn that off, and these things have like huge, and I mean like huge hydrogen storage, so as soon as I turn one of these things on, it's going to pull all of the hydrogen that I've got in here into these engines, which, you know, isn't a bad thing. Oh, and we do have increased ones. Okay, so it just puts out more power. Less priority, meaning that hydrogen engines will only generate power when reactors, if present, are at 100% output. Okay, so 160,000 liters is what that's got. And it puts out a lot of power very, very quickly. Um, so maybe I should go with the tier three engine instead, maybe. It's okay. I have to be careful with how I do this. 
No, 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 don't start building it up again. Okay. So let's do the tier three engine. If it will let me hop up on here, sir, sir. Sir, really, dude? You're starting to. Okay. Just jump up on. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Jump. Thank you. Okay, so engine tier three. I'm going to need alloy plates to place them, so we'll grab some of those. Um, I guess I'll just grab two. Okay, engine tier three. And then we definitely want the fan to be on that side and the opening to be over here on this side. So then that's gonna need to go this way. Okay. So we'll grab all the parts here. We'll grab all the parts here. Did it add both of those? Okay. Um, so then we'll go into the production. Go in here, build one of those. So that'll be that one. And then we'll build the other one be that one and then we can just take that off okay and then also turn you off right away okay so we'll we'll be able to see kind of like the fans here which i think is going to be kind of cool um and then i can put in another h2o2 generator in here for the connection so we need more alloy plates i think though I'm gonna need more alloy. Uh, I need nickel, okay. And I also need to recharge soon, so that's kind of fortuitous. And we're gonna head over to the nickel mine, which I thought was somewhere. I don't remember. Um, nickel was it up there? Might have been up there. And the entrance should be right in the middle of the grass there. Okay. And here we are. We're at 44 minutes already? Holy crap. Time flies, man. What is the Latin for that? Tempus Fugit or something like that? Um, okay.
Okay. And then once we get this thing up and running, um, we're still going to have to go and get uh, the rest of the base fixed fixed up. Um, because we do still have to make a projection of that. So that way when we find the next oasis, if we find another oasis, um, we have something to model it off of. I think that'll be enough. Okay. And I suppose the quicker I can get the uh, the hangar bay thing working, um, the sooner I could probably just drive this thing underneath it or reorient the the rover so that way I can drive, you know, just right under it, I guess, maybe. Or something like that. I don't know. Okay, and then we'll park right here. I think that'll work. But yeah, I like like I like having that kind of just sit out there like a bumper. I think it looks nice. I like it. Anyways, um, yeah. So let's throw this stuff into the thing. Grab some more nickel, some stone. Okay, and then stone and more nickel. All right. I think we're going to have a lot of nickel. Could be wrong. That should be everything out of there. Good to go. All right. Okay, so that's good to go there. Um, yeah, fun times. So we're dropping about a hundred. Oh no, we're dropping less than a hundred. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so on the sixth one that changes, so that's about 18 nickel that we're doing every tick. And then we're gaining eight. So eight to 18, that's a little under 50%. So that's, that's pretty good. We should end up with about 5,000 nickel. Um, yeah, all right. And then I have to get this thing running, sort of. And like, I have to figure out like how to do it so that way it doesn't like try to lift up the entire rover when it's pushing down because that'll cause things to break, I think. And why the hell is that missing right there? Did it get struck by lightning? Weird. Anyways, um, let's get back up on there. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab all of the plate. 
Oh, wait, we have to go this way. And we're just going to spend the next 52 years filling out all of this. Okay. Okay, good to go. Um, I'm going to turn the other build and repair system on. So it's currently off at the moment. And this will get done a little bit faster with the building. Okay, so that is that all done. Thank God. Um, and now I need to adjust the wheels. Okay, so we're gonna... I did not want to land on here, but okay. Um, offset, we want to drop this to negative two. That'll lift us up quite a lot, and then I just fall off, apparently. Okay, let's see. Height offsets, negative two. And then this height offset. I'm doing negative two because it'll default to whatever the highest or I suppose lowest negative, highest negative number. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, instead of like trying to figure out exactly what it has to be at and just, you know, easier this way. Okay. So with that, can we add on the wheels? Not yet. Okay. So, question, how do I get this thing to come down now? <laughs> uh, fun times. Um, well, first we have to find all of these things, make sure that they're labeled correctly. How is that an advanced rotor? Okay, jack pistons are here. Okay, what about regular pistons? Okay, we have three that are connected to everything else that aren't included in the set yet. Um, okay. Seriously, how's that going to an advanced rotor? It's just dumb. Can I reach that? I can. Okay, good. So this is jack piston one. And then if I can reach up in here. No, how about over here? Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. This is Jack Piston 2. Okay. And then we can go into here and then go into the jack pistons and ensure that these are all set up together. Okay. Okay, so setting the maximum distance on all five to five. 
Um, hello? Dude. Maximum distance. Five. We good? We good. Okay. So that's that. All right. So now we should have eight additional pistons, and they should all be strangely colored. Oh, uh, I know what the other piston is. That's this one here. Okay. Um, this is connector piston. Connector piston. Okay. All right. So now all of the other pistons that are on here now. Do, 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 do. That'd be all of these ones. Um, this is hangar bay pistons. Save. Inertia tensor is on for all of them. Okay. Maximum impulse along the axis and non axis. I think I'm going to have to m input dampening. What is this? Interesting. Enables advanced options. What are the advanced options? Piston the gear returns to if any below option. Oh, position the gear returns to if any below option is enabled. Gotcha. Okay, so I don't think I need anything there. Um... Maximum distance. I mean, the most of this thing has to drop down is like. Okay, so we're going to make this. Because that's for each one. So we're going to make this one. And we'll see how this works. Okay, so that dropped it a little bit. Enough for me to get up on here, anyways. So that's sort of good. But we do need it to drop down more. Um, and then technically, so long as everything is high enough, I could just drive up on here from anywhere, I suppose, right? But okay, so here's the thing, like I want it to drop down and if it hits the floor, I don't want it to keep pushing. Or I want to limit the velocity such that if it, or limit the power such that if it hits something, it doesn't try to push everything up. So... And then also, all of these don't need to actually show up on here. So we can actually turn them off in the terminal. That way we just have that. Um, so if we did 1.25. Okay, so that hit the floor. And it hit the floor kind of hard. Not a fan. Um, so it's like, I think I need to maximum force that piston is allowed to apply to a blocking obstacle along its extending axis. Okay, so this I want to drop down to like a thousand. So that way if it does drop, it's not going to go crazy. Um, so if we did 1.3. Okay, so it's not putting a lot of power in here, which is kind of what I want. And it should also allow for some bending, I think. So like this can push down a little bit farther and then this will just kind of like go this way a little bit, maybe. I don't know if that's actually how it works or not. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like even this is too much. Like maybe I should just make this zero or just make it the minimum, I guess. Apply to blocking obstacle along its lateral obstacle. Okay, so that's side to side movement. So we'll bring that down. Uh, key bind. We can actually do key binds on here. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so this is useful for like if you want to make a crane and you want to make it like um, I mean, I have no idea how to like actually get that to work, but 
like if you'll hit W, like it'll move forward or it'll extend out. And if you hit the, the S button, like it'll back up or something. Or uh, I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so maximum distance. So maybe that'll work, kind of, sort of. Maybe, I don't know. So like, what if I were to push that even further? And I made this like 1.5. Is it just not gonna do anything? It's just gonna sit there? I mean, that's, that's not a bad thing, obviously. So my question is, can we drive under here with that? Or is it gonna to be too high up? I mean, and honestly, if we're gonna do that, then I can just get rid of this. Um, hello. So, I mean, I suppose we can try it and see if we get stuck. I mean, if it did work, that would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, so we would need to drive. I mean, we could try driving from the back, maybe. No, we'd, we'd have to drive from the front. And then kind of back in. Ooh, that's... This is not great. Can we go through the tree? We can go through this tree, okay. Good to go. Can this work though? That is the question. Um, we wanna go back this way. Ooh, that is, okay. So that obviously did not work. Um, and we now are broken, which is great. Super great. Um, okay, so we need you to have, are you already all the way up at the top? Uh, strength, ooh, okay. So that, that lifted that up quite a lot. Okay, so strength, we're gonna make you go up to seven. And then is that enough to back in here? I need to like back up like super, super fucking slow. Ooh. Um, okay, so we're still like really, really low on this side. So maybe we bump the power up to 8% or the strength to 8% just to get that little bit of extra lift. Okay, so we definitely have clearance now. Okay. That is creepy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We are just breaking everything at this point. Did I just, I just, oh shit. That was my survival kit that just broke right there. Yeah, okay. Um, good to go. <laughs> shit. Um, yeah, I don't have a replacement one of those. So if I die now, um, Oh, uh, this is terrible. Um, okay, so these need to go to full extension, I think. Let's drop it down as far as it'll go. And we're just doing all kinds of damage here. This isn't going down any farther though. Why is this not going down any farther? I know it's not down all the way. Okay, so let's reverse. OK, 
Okay. Cancel. What if we increase this to 1,000? What is going on? Okay. No, still nothing. Still nothing. Okay, so why aren't you pulling back up? Sir, what the f why is it breaking this down? Dude, stop. And I broke my build and repair system on there too. So basically this, this rover right here is useless, basically. Um, yeah. That's going to be a problem. All right, so we are going to throw in a beacon in here in case I do die and I have to respawn at least I don't know where I have to go back to. So, Oasis Base 1. Oh, I probably should have put Pertam on there. Um, shit. So this thing is not pulling back up. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Um, it's not caught on anything. Oh, we are way over an hour. We are like way over an hour. Let's just do 1.3. Minimum distance is good. Um, that's what it was before. Okay, why, why, what? Okay, hang on, hang on. So is it the lateral? That's the problem here? Yes, it is. Okay. So then if we drop this back down to a thousand. Okay, so that brought us back up. So the lateral is important. Oh, so if it's pushing or if it's going in at any sort of an angle, it's just going to give up, I guess. So that's kind of what that is. Um, we'll see how far we drop down. 1.5, 2, okay, does this even have a battery yet, <laughs> okay, so can we, nope, backwards, backwards, if you don't mind. And this, I just heard something break something somewhere. Dude, why are you breaking the blocks on here? The hell? Okay. Anyways. Hangar bay pistons reverse. And that should bring us right back up. Okay, so we hit something. Maybe we need more power. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, it's moving up like a little tiny bit at a time. Okay, 
I don't I don't know what's going on, but I no longer have a means to uh, respawn. So that's a little scary. Um, it's actually a lot scary. So I need to find silver quickly. I mean, we still have this, I suppose. That's good, I guess. This whole thing is like shaking right now. And I know that we're way over an hour. I do realize this. This whole thing is like shaking a hell of a lot more than I thought it should. Or than it should, I should say. Um, one thing we are going to need on here is a connector. So I'll throw the connector on there, get this thing hooked up to the ship, and then we'll call it good, I guess. Um, I'm going to need all the parts for that, though, if you don't mind. I need motors. Do I not have any? Okay, so that is now locked, so it should be good. The only problem is now I can't actually get out of here. Okay, so that's gonna repair everything, hopefully. I mean, we're, we're locked in, so that's good. But yeah, um, definitely need to work on this a bit. Because if we're gonna have, you know, anything like that, uh, one thing I do want to do is, okay, so let's take all of these and these, change the strength to eight. I'll drop that down all the way. Okay. So now if I really wanted to, I could throw a button on here somewhere. And then so long as that's connected, we should be able to lower this thing. Okay, dude, why are you getting rid of Seriously, what what is it doing with this? What is it doing? Why is it doing that? <sighs> okay. Anyways, here we are. Um we are at an hour and 14 minutes, we went way over. Uh, we are gonna need to try to find some silver ASAP um, because not being able to respawn in this location is not great. In fact, it's really, really, really not great. Um, so we're gonna end this video here and then in the next, sorry, hiccup. Um, in the next video, we're gonna go and search for silver because we need it. One thing I probably could do though is, hold on, uh, I have, I do have that, right? Yeah, I can just build a gopher. And I think that has um, an ore detector on it, so I can just kind of figure out where the silver is and then go pick some up. I think that would probably be the best thing for me to do. So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode and that's what I got for this one. So hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for going over my time. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Have a good one.